Before the discovery was attributed to William Herschel, an astronomer and musician, Uranus had been spotted by many people before Herschel viewed it via his telescope. However, due to its dimness and tiny size, it was categorized as a star. Herschel too was initially misled, believing the planet to be a comet. The Voyager 2 spacecraft captured the most comprehensive photos of Uranus during its 1986 flyby. These photos showed a mostly featureless, light blue-green planet with a hazy atmosphere. Following the Neptune images published in 2022, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has captured a magnificent picture of Uranus, the solar system's second ice giant. Stay tuned to find as we delve deeper into the unknown features of this incredible planet. Uranus was a real planning challenge, and the reason why is one, we only get one shot, and two, uh, Uranus has kind of turned up on its edge. And we're now, instead of seeing the, the, the moons in kind of a plane where you can fly through this plane and get one after the other, we're looking at a bullseye. The extension of the mission to Uranus and Neptune, I think, highlights really one of the unsung heroes of JPL and that of the Deep Space Network. The Deep Space Network is a group of antennas arrayed in three strategic locations around the globe. This is the essential link for tracking and communicating with all of NASA's interplanetary spacecraft. Those encounters at Uranus and Neptune would have been impossible without what the Deep Space Network, the DSN, did to get that data back. When you think about it, you've got the Voyager radio transmitter powered at about 23 watts, which is about the power of a, your refrigerator light bulb. And we're trying to pick up that signal here on Earth from well over a billion miles away and picking out that very tiny little signal from that vast background of outer space is really a remarkable achievement when you think about it. It all started on March 13th, 1781, when Herschel saw a strange object in the sky that he initially mistook for a star. He saw it again a couple of days later, but it had relocated. He deduced from its motion that it was too near to Earth to be a star and assumed it was a comet. He alerted Maskelyne, who, after numerous futile efforts to locate the object, carefully examined its orbit. Further examination revealed that it was not a comet, but a previously undiscovered planet. Uranus is difficult to analyze because of its considerable distance from Earth. However, scientists have learned much about its makeup and features during the previous two centuries. For example, it is an ice giant as opposed to the gas giants Jupiter and Saturn. It is the third largest planet in the solar system distinguished by its unusual sideways orientation, with its axis of rotation practically parallel to its orbital plane. Uranus's peculiar trait of severe seasons is due to its axial tilt, with each pole experiencing 42 years of continuous sunshine, followed by 42 years of darkness. Uranus has a thick atmosphere made mostly of hydrogen and helium, with traces of methane giving it its distinctive blue appearance. The Voyager 2 space mission, which obtained photographs of it as a featureless sphere in 1986, boosted our understanding. Uranus was not the furthest planet in the solar system for long. Neptune was discovered about 65 years later. Pluto was discovered in 1930 and named the outermost planet, but was controversially demoted to dwarf planet status in 2006. The argument among astronomers continues. The spacecraft also detected 10 new moons, two thin rings, and a magnetic field considerably skewed from the planet's rotation axis. Due to Uranus's enormous distance from Earth, there have been few observations since the Voyager 2 visit. The Hubble Space Telescope and ground-based telescopes have been used in most research. These observations, however, have revealed just a few facts about the planet's surface characteristics and atmospheric processes. The recent images taken by the James Webb Space Telescope depict the planet's spectacular rings and bright spots in its atmosphere. The Webb findings show the observatory's remarkable sensitivity to the weakest dusty rings, which had previously only been photographed by the Voyager 2 spacecraft as it sailed by the planet in 1986, and the Keck Observatory with superior adaptive optics. Voyager 2's camera revealed a virtually featureless blue-green orb in visible wavelengths. 
We observe greater detail with Webb's infrared wavelengths and increased sensitivity, demonstrating how active Uranus's atmosphere is. This infrared picture from Webb's near-infrared camera combines data from two filters at 1.4 and 3.0 microns, represented in blue and orange in the image. In the resultant representative color picture, the planet has a blue tint. Uranus is unique. It turns on its side at around a 90-degree angle from its orbital plane. Because the planet's poles encounter several years of uninterrupted sunshine followed by an equal number of years of utter darkness, this generates harsh seasons. It usually takes 84 years for Uranus to circle the Sun. As shown above, the northern pole is now in late spring. Uranus's northern summer will be in 2028. In contrast, it was summer at Uranus's south pole when Voyager 2 visited. The south pole is now on the dark side of the globe, hidden from view and facing the blackness of space. A polar cap is a brightness region at the pole facing the Sun on the planet's right side. This polar cap is unique to Uranus. It appears in the summer when the pole encounters direct sunlight and disappears in the autumn. The Webb data will help scientists comprehend the presently unknown process. Webb discovered a startling feature of the polar cap, a modest heightened brightness near the cap's core. Webb's NIR cam sensitivity and longer wavelengths may explain why we can observe this increased Uranus polar feature. In contrast, other strong telescopes like the Hubble Space Telescope and Keck Observatory cannot. A brilliant cloud and a few fainter extended structures can be seen near the polar cap's edge and a second extremely bright cloud can be seen at the planet's left limb. Such clouds are characteristic of Uranus at infrared wavelengths and are most likely associated with storm activity. Because of the chemical composition of its interior, this planet is classified as an ice giant. The majority of its mass is believed to be a hot, dense fluid of icy components of water, methane and ammonia, floating atop a tiny rocky core. Uranus has 13 recognized rings, 11 of which can be seen in this Webb picture. Some of these rings are so brilliant with Webb that they merge into a more prominent ring when they are near together. The planet has nine major rings and two fainter dusty rings, such as the diffuse Zeta ring nearest to the planet, detected in the 1986 Voyager 2 flyby. Future web photos of Uranus are expected to show the two weak outer rings identified by Hubble during the ring plane crossover in 2007. Webb also photographed several of Uranus's 27 known moons, the majority too tiny and dim to be visible in the picture. The six brightest are recognized in the wide-angle image. This was a 12-minute exposure photograph of Uranus using just two filters. It's only the tip of the iceberg when viewing this intriguing planet. In its 2023-2033 Planetary Science and Astrobiology Decadal Study, the National Academies of Science, Engineering and Medicine highlighted Uranus science was a priority in 2022. Additional Uranus research is underway, with more scheduled for Webb's first year of scientific operations. The JWST remains the world's leading observatory for space research. Webb will investigate mysteries in our solar system and distant planets orbiting other stars and explore the intriguing architecture and origins of our universe and our position in it. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.